Uh, Bohemian Rhapsody is the true story about Queen, which is a band, for those of you who don't know. Specifically speaking, Freddie Mercury, the leader of this band of misfits, as they become one of the greatest of all time bands. This is a film that I was looking forward to. It is Rami Malek in the lead role of Freddie Mercury. And I'm a huge Rami Malek fan. I can honestly say I've been a fan of his for a long time, ever since I saw him in The Master uh, back in 2012. And actually, even the year prior, when he was in Larry Crown, uh, that Tom Hanks indie film. Um, film itself was okay, but I mean, he was great in it. And I like him. Mr. Robot, he's fantastic in that. So I was really looking forward to this film. And this film, its lead performance of oh, Rainy Malley is fantastic. He is incredible in the lead role for Freddie Mercury. I loved his performance. Easily manipulating just the true life character in such a way where you believe that he is, in fact, Freddie Mercury. And instead of just Rainy and Malick, you know, imitating him. But because it's not really an imitation, it's an impersonation that literally transcends that of what an impersonation is. I loved his performance. Um, I also think the sound editing and mixing is really good, especially in IMAX. I mean, you get a really good idea on just like the bass that they focus on and also just the sounds that they utilized. I really liked it. And I think also that some of the cam work in this film was pretty good. Um, the color palette wasn't fantastic but it was passable and i also have to say that i liked how this film's first half was heavily focused on the behind the scenes now with that said i do have my flaws with the film um yeah sure it's entertaining but i did i think that the final 20 minutes really really are flawed and the final 20 minutes it's literally just like a concert and i get it i get it people love queen and don't get me wrong like Queen is a pretty cool band, but when you specifically just have a final 20 minute performance and it's not helping the plot in any ways, and it's not even like artistically well done, it's just a shame because it hampers not only the final act with actually like, uh, you know, setting up like, you know, the, hey, you know, this is what Freddie Mercury did like in his life. It just kind of felt like, the 20 minute performance was literally just for Queen fans so that they can jerk off to, which I, again, I understand, but for me personally, I look at stuff from the filmmaking perspective. You know, I get it that people like that, but it's like, if you want to see that, if you want to see a 20 minute concert, then go on YouTube, type up Queen concert, and you can watch it live. Um, but again, like, I think it just really hampered it. Also, I think that uh, Freddie Mercury's sexuality, I think that they really did not do a good job at depicting it. Because here's the thing. If someone is gay or someone is straight, you would depict it as such. But when they're bisexual, you depict it as if he is, uh, you know, in the closet and is coming out of the closet. That's just what it felt like. I mean, sure, they straight up said like, oh, I'm, like he said, I'm bisexual. But think about it. Wouldn't you much rather it be, like, subtle, where it's not, like, spoon-fed to the audience, like, yeah, I'm bisexual, but not actually showing it? Because, like, filmmaking is all about visual storytelling. And when it's not visual storytelling, when you actually have to spoon-feed the audience to be like, oh, yeah, well, see, I'm bisexual, but you actually are just showing him be with a bunch of guys and one girl? I don't know. I just think that, really, that just dampered the whole film for me, because it's, like, it's not really true. And I get it. You have to take liberties with filmmaking, for sure. But... I also think the character of Mary, I think she just kind of just turned into that, like, that character where she was very supportive of him, and, like, it just, it felt very oscar baity. Also, I think that the second half was really dull, not just with the final 20 minutes, but I think that it lost a lot of steam. It started fall falling into a lot of cliches of the biopic genre, and it's, it's just a shame because such a band that had such an impact on the music industry gets such a basic film. It's a shame, really. Don't get me wrong, it's not bad. Bohemian Rhapsody is not a bad film by any means. It's just a film that could have been so much more and unfortunately just is serviceable. Don't get me wrong, I understand a lot of people are gonna be jerking off this film, which is fine, but again, that's just my viewpoint. I personally give Bohemian Rhapsody a three out of five star rating, or for those like a hot sauce of letter grade, it's the old Red Hot Wings Frank's sauce. So, it's okay, Phil.
not bad, not great, but Rami Malek will definitely get an Oscar nomination. But guys, do we have any Rhapsody? Were you uh, in love with it, especially the final 20 minutes? Or did you think it was just okay? Or did you hate it? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. And as always, don't forget the subscription, notification bell, and I'll uh, catch you guys.